the rack acro or something although that's not gonna help get you views but all right let's let's play some xenonauts too you can say hi youtube again if you want chat you don't have to it's optional it's optional But uh, we're relatively far-ish in for this playthrough, because we're on day 102. And we just finished a mission, and we're flying the Skyhawk back. Only 10% of the way to end game. And there's uh, cattle abductions, suspected infiltrations... Mining uh, operation strafed uh, and uh, an oil rig strafed. So I have a feeling an alien is going to pop in here pretty soon. Unless it... Oh, no, they're going this way. Okay. Well, they're going to hit us at some point. Let's see. Spending a lot of money on things. Let's just max out my engineering capacity so things go quicker. Buy another living quarters. Uh, pretty okay. We've killed a lot of people. Um, which, you know, is pretty great. We've also kept a lot of our people alive, which is also better, I would argue, even. Uh, we are building a second base over here, uh, which we... Stuff is under construction slowly. But, you know, we're, we're, we're working on it. Um, specifically, we're working on... Uh, or we're trying to work on aircraft, but apparently I need to hire engineers for this side of things. Uh, so let's hire five engineers for this side. And, um... More scientists? Okay, well, I have no research over on this side. So on, on, on this side, I'm actually going to uh, build two labs. But it's been going pretty good. This game has been a blast. Uh, I know it's got kind of uh, mixed reviews in some sense of that word. Like, if I go look at the reviews right now, I think they're, like, teetering on mixed. Or they were, anyway, when I last looked. Okay, now there's 74%. It's not quite mixed. But um, I've definitely seen some reviews where I'm like, yep, that's a skill issue. And I've definitely seen some reviews where it's legitimate. Like, it's, it's light on content right now. It's an early access game. Um... And that is fine to me. That doesn't bother me. But you have no regrets on this purchase? I mean, if you're used to the way old school XCOM works, it's great. Like, it, it's great. But you have to be, like, okay with OG XCOM. I want a bigger radar. Got uh, seven more engineers. We can now begin construction on our jets and we have researched alien plasma weapons. Alien plasma weapons are significantly more powerful than their magnetic predecessors, generating bolts of searing plasma that inflict terrible damage on anything that they hit. The analysis of captured alien plasma weapons suggests that they all share common architecture. The barrel contains plasma accelerator that draws power from an alanium battery, uh, utilizing it to f a full of to a form of ball to a form of a ball superhead heated plasma that is fired towards the target. A small graviton emitter 
uh, fitted to the muzzle of the weapon, injects a single charged particle into the projectile as it passes, generating enough gravitational field to prevent it expanding into a useless cloud of hot gas. Although this effect does not stop air resistance from deforming the sphere into an elongated bolt, these plasma projectiles collapse explosively on impact, tearing a gaping hole at the point of impact and grievously burning the surrounding area. The un an unarmored human is unlikely to survive a hit from an alien plasma rifle, unless they are fortunate enough to be struck on an ex extremity, extremity such as an arm or leg. Sadly, plasma weapons also possess rather greater armor protect pre penetration than their magnetic equivalents. Basic Kevlar armor provides very little protection and should ideally be entirely replaced by something more advanced. Although our primitive attempts to replicate these weapons have proved unsuccessful, our best plasma emitter has a range of less than three inches. Our work has at least revealed enough about their workings that our armor can be improved accordingly. So lasers, uh, ammo recharge? Whoa, I can make stun guns? Hold up. Gotta get me one of those. Like, stat. Oh, they only take four hours to make? Excellent. Also, it turns out hiring a bunch more engineers is like vastly, vastly sped everything up. Who's surprised by this? Not me. Completed work on a stun gun. Cool. We'll assign that once the UFO appears. It's a small UFO. We're going to launch the intercept interceptors. Holy shit, it's far away. Never mind. We're not actually going to get to that in time. Uh, our engineers have completed work on a laser pistol. I just learned that you can move these. Um, interesting. UFO destroyer detected approaching Africa Anvil. Attacking uh, UFO has 20 armor and 175 health. Uh, the missile battery fires, causing 33, 133 damage. The UFO has 24% HP remaining. Defensive batteries attacking the UFO... Uh, alien assault teams uh, suffer casualties while disembarking. Uh, base personnel preparing for defensive operations. We're being attacked. Huh. Anybody unnamed? I would rather have a person than the sentry gun. But you're injured. I'm about, uh, how far in am I actually? 17 hours of playtime in? And chat, if you guys want to help me out at this point, just anything to keep the chat active is greatly appreciated. All right, well, I uh, I guess that we defend our base. You kept having to restart? Yeah, we haven't restarted at all. I've done some saves coming, but I haven't restarted. How does it compare to Xenonauts 1? It's a remake of Xenonauts 1, meaning it's Xenonauts 1 in a new engine with more stuff. The air game is very underdeveloped, though. I think it's most... I haven't played Xenonauts 1 since 2014, um, when it released. So my memory of it is a little bit fuzzy.
wondering. Where in the world they're starting. By there, I mean the aliens are. I'm assuming they're coming in one of these two. One of these three, even. But yeah, also, it's a it's an early access game. So because it's an early access game, I don't know if it's actually fair to ask if they improved the game. Because in some respects, absolutely. fucking lootly In some respects, it's an early access game. So... Things they've planned to improve, they haven't yet. Okay, so they're up here. Got it. Thanks, game. No. Okay, we'll send you there. Send you there. Bring you here. Up there. Up there. You down here. You down here. There, there, you there, and lastly, you there. Oh, missed the robot. I they always come through the hangers, but I just didn't know which hanger, right? <laughs> because I've got that hanger and then I got this hanger, so I was like, I. Hold out for marauders and then dab on things. I never got that far in. Robots can't open doors, chat. Ah. They seem friendly, right? Definitely. That's also kind of terrifying, by the way. Don't shoot a robot, please. There's a robot there. Oh, that was a miss. There you go. Move you up. Oh, I see, because there's a person in front of you. It's like, why can't you move? The wrong person, but I digress. they're there right now. Hmm. Send you back here. I'll send you over here. You over here. That general direction. And the turn now. Oh, I see. You need to move. We're gonna send you all. Oh wow, there's like a tin can there that you gotta run around. Okay. Super advanced counter alien base and no cameras. I mean, it's 
Speaking of, and no cameras. Ow! Ow! God. Fucking triple kill him. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. Who did we lose? I might need to save scum this. Once people start panicking, it means it's time to save scum, pretty much. But we'll see. I'll save scum when we have one dude left. Do I have the improved grenades yet? No. I, like, just got them in research, I think. Oh, that's a 0% chance to hit. That'll work. So who all did I lose? Celestaris is almost dead. Daniel Miller and and Major Gloves we lost. Oh, that sucks. Same with middle management. Middle management was great. And Celestaris is bleeding real bad. Can't even crouch with her. Um. I think that playing a early access game like this without save scumming is a little silly. But also, not everybody agrees with me on that, so. And also, I think playing a game like this on your first playthrough without saves coming is also a little silly. You can move. Not bad. Perfect. Ah. 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 God dang it. Stuff hits hard. Who did I just lose? Audio coaster, we lost. <laughs> sorry, audio. <laughs> Very sorry. Zero percent chance to knock one of these out. Now, I was trying to go less lethally, but here we are. Let's leave you there. Get these shots off. Don't shoot the my guy. That would be nice. You're a ninety-five percent chance to hit. Give me a second time. I'll take the losses. F's for those who passed chat, but we survived. We lost some good soldiers in there, but...
There's more where those came from. But yeah, I want to say I just unlocked the improved grenades. I am pretty sure that we're going to fail this campaign, though, um, because I'm not far enough in the endgame progress. But we get a new autopsy. Also, no pants. Um, mantids do not get pants. Mantids are an alien species that appears to be an insectoid origin. And I, for one, believe that he, the concept of a bug that thinks is frankly offensive. Their small stature and fragile chitin's shell mean that their bodies are remarkably light, and none of the recovered corpses weighs more than 50 kilograms. The bi That's about how much I weigh. <laughs> I weigh like 55 kilograms. <laughs> Uh, the, the biology of these creatures is fascinating, and they possess delicate fingers that can easily manipulate weapons and tools, yet maintain the four articulated legs and a strange hybrid circulatory system. Their shape and their of their jaws suggests that they are herbivores of descent, yet they can still generate sufficient enough force to sever a human limb in a single bite. They must be, like, eating trees or something. However, possibly... Their most noteworthy feature is the large compound eyes, situated on either side of their head. These appear to grant mantids an extremely wide field of view, allowing these creatures to monitor large swaths of the battlefield for enemy movement and making them exceedingly difficult to sneak up on. Mantids also possess well-developed brains that are likely to be surprisingly intelligent number of the uh, to be a surprisingly intelligent. A number of control systems recovered from the crashed UFOs appear to be adapted for Mantid use, perhaps implying that the extraterrestrials utilize them as pilots. Thankfully, Mantid psychology is somewhat limits their threat. Their chitin shell can easily be cracked or broken without bones or other internal structures to protect their organs. They are left mighty vulnerable to the heavy hazards of the battlefield. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Mantids are reportedly rather skittish under fire. So this area down here, we're constructing ships to be able to take out those UFOs soon. Let's assign a new project. Let's go for plot. And uh, let's queue up. Another missile battery. Right, this one we're going for. It's small. I'm just going to autoplay the combat minigame because... Uh-oh. Yeah, it's too far away. I'm going to just auto-resolve. We're gonna accept the results. We're gonna launch the combat team. Okay, so we're gonna autofill the drop ship. Uh, stone, you're gonna get this new handgun. It's ammo for it. I wish, like, double-clicking or something would, like, chuck the stuff in there. Quite nice. Like, I need to make more accelerated rifles. Uh, Dr. Y, I'm going to refund that because it's too expensive for this game. And when I do uh, redemptions for this game, I just, you know, when I do redemptions for this game, I just, uh, like, literally, it's first come, first serve. But uh, I will give you this one for free, because you got it, so. Because I do have, I, I also have a second unnamed person, who is uh, Elaine Lewis. So, um, 
No, it's fine, Dr. Y. You, you got it, dude. Um, first person to type in Kappa gets it. Terran Victa? I'm not gonna... I, I, I don't want to play Terran Victa. I watched some gameplay of it. It doesn't look like me. It doesn't look like something I'd like. Playborn. There you go. Um, you're a lady, I think. Maybe not. You're this person. But uh, what happened to Terry and Victor's reviews? Mixed? Are patches slow? Ah, early access issues. I get it. Uh, but no, I don't really have any interest in playing Terra Invicta. I have a really hard time streaming very large-scale strategy games. Um, I was once informed that my Civ streams were some of the mo least interesting streams I ever did, and the few times I've tried streaming um, Paradox games, it was, Blind, this is the most uninteresting stream you've ever done. Please stream stuff you're good at. Um, and I agree. Like, watching back on those VODs, like, they were awful streams, so... Ah, oh, man, it's 2023. Who knows? Claiborne, did you get your tickets for Vegas? You know, Claiborne, I'm, I'm actually... I'm going to give you Warden Armor, but I'm actually going to make you into a Grenadier. We're going to give you... Can I... If I get rid of one of these, will that lower the weight up enough? Yes, it will. Swap you out with this one of these and dr y i'm going to make you into a shield as well we're going to give you warden armor swap out the better pistol all right so am i missing warden armor on anybody Sly Gushika needs better armor. All right. I'm not going to the party, so that's up to you. I've never once been... I actually, I also don't know what day it's on. It might, like, collide with the festival we're going to. But I, I've, I went to the Twitch party once, and it was meh. Not my thing. But uh, I, there was somebody I, I knew, Grew, who was playing a buttload of Terry Invicta and said it was the best game he's ever played. So I, I don't, I haven't seen that guy in a while. So. <laughs> but chat room, has anybody here played Terra Invicta? Uh, last Grew's looking for recommendations on it. I need to build a second interceptor over here, but I don't have the money. Sweet, we don't have to do it at night. Commence tactical combat. To give you an idea, the 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 first major Twitch party that they had was at TwitchCon in 2016, and it was a it was a rave. It was a concert. There was a bunch of different DJs that played, but the most notable being Darud, and he didn't play Sandstorm. So. If if that's any sense. Fantastic early game and one of the worst mid to late games you've ever had in a game. Oh, really? Genuinely awful late game for Terry and Victor. Huh. I'm not. It was literally like the, the laugh. Oh, hey, shit. You know, I'm, I'm constantly impressed. I'm constantly seeing maps I haven't seen before. Uh-oh. You are way too fucking close. I do not like how close this thing is. 100% chance to hit, though. All right, Don Bourne, hope you're brave. Got him.
Reaper alert, pretty much. A lot of Reapers. At least they don't have range combat, but Jesus. I haven't actually lost a Xenonaut to a Reaper yet. So let's not start here. Whew. Got him. <laughs> All right. Reapers and civilians. Darud made other music. You know what's it? You know what's amazing about Darud? Darud is one of my favorite, like, overwhelming positivity streamers. Like this. This is a genuine statement. I love watching Darud's streams. Darud streams every Friday, and he does this thing that he that he just. I, I can't. I can never remember. It's like just vibes or something is the name of it, and it's literally a call-in radio show. So he'll play ninety seconds of music. And then, or to, to up to a couple of minutes of music, and he'll just be sitting there fucking vibing, and then he'll turn the music down. They're all remixes that he's made. Turn the music down, and then he'll have a call in on his like on his Discord for his subs, and he'll just randomly like fucking talk to people, and it is like one of the most like weirdly positive like shows I've ever seen <laughs> on Twitch. I highly recommend watching his show on Twitch. It's great. All right, let's let's take out that. I might just wait another turn because there's Reapers around. But yeah, I really like his streams. Very smart. Yes, the Reapers are in fact creeping. All right, chat. What side do you think we should go for? Tractor side or livestock? Tractor side or livestock? What side should we head for, do you think? Tractor is way less cover, though, <laughs> than livestock. Two for livestock, two for tractor. We'll split. I love that the hedge somehow gives better cover than the hay bales. I have a hard time believing this. Well, <laughs> rip that dude. Somebody right there. Oh, seems clear. I'll have you know some of those hay bales are square and not round. Let's 
take this shot. There we go. Eh, that's not good. Let's take the shot. Missed. Slightly terrified of that. Makes you wonder why they have two different hay packing machines. It makes me think that the developers of this game have never packed a bale of hay. And they just go, ah, yes, bale of hay. Also, other bale of hay. Instead of, like, thinking about, like, the implications of that bale of hay, if you know what I'm saying. Found the ship. Ah! That's all I have to say. Ah! Okay. Wub, wub, wub. Oh, ship! Found the ship! Get ship done. Miss? You missed a 97. It is still Xenonauts, you know? I think I need to capture one of those brain aliens, brain aliens, brain, brain, brain aliens alive. I think there's one of those that I need to capture. The one that starts with an M. Uh-oh. It's uh, right near there. It's dead. Nice miss. Yeah, also genuine horror in de indeed. Brainy attic. I mean, that's not too terrifying. That's pretty terrifying. <laughs> well. This is where things goes bad, isn't it? I don't understand how this fence provides cover. Period. How in the world does this fence provide cover? Can somebody please explain to me how any cover whatsoever comes from this fence? Faraday cage for plasma guns. Basically, there's a little infestation of them over there. Nice miss. Wub wub wub. We love the way the mantises scuttle. Yeah, they have a lot of personality to them. Rest in peace, Dawnborn. Soldier sucks. This 
one. Got no movement points. Sorry, Lyagushka, but you're not great. Wait. Yeah, they do have a really good walk animation. I think just like blitzed a hole in the wall. Ah! Got him in the butt. Made him turn around in disgust. That increases your chance to hit. Uh, okay, we're good. Squat down. I run you there. Remove this wall. Yes, I can. You know, I've never, I haven't tried in this game yet. Is it possible to completely take down buildings if you blow up every single wall? Like, will the whole building fall down? That's what I need. Got him. Good shots, Laya. That's not good. I can still shoot once. Just low chance to hit. Please don't miss. Okay, well, you missed. Let's just take the shot. And we missed. Great. Well, that's kind of terrifying. Oh, hey, they blow up. I mean, have you ever hit a bale of hay with something explosive? <laughs> a really bad choice of place to stay. I will give you sustenance after the battle's over, okay? Till then, I will give you pets if you don't bite me. Am I, did I end my turn chat? I think I did, yeah? Did it really just like not move? I shall cheer for the aliens. I'm sure that the cat is would cheer for anything that wasn't me. Be very much his personality. He is purring, though, so it's on my side this once. Also, how you doing, Elfie? How was your stream today? Fortunate that this is a one-handed game. Brief kitty cam. I mean, I gotta use this for clout while I have him, right? For anybody who hasn't met this cat before, this is Papageno. He's 22. He's a living fossil. A senior citizen. He's probably, like, in the oldest cats in the world right now. Like, there can't be that many cats that are 20. 
All right. Are you serious? User username checks out. Get back later from still streaming? I probably will be. I mean, I've only been going for eight and a half hours. I'll probably go for nine or ten. Although this dog is acting hungry. Cat is leaving. Let him leave without disturbance. All right. Aside from the ear biting, he did bite me in the ear while I was sleeping. Sui uh, insists that cat's biting me in my ear to wake cat biting me in the ear to wake me up so I feed him at three o'clock in the morning is a cat being a good kitty. I disagree. I think that that is unacceptable kitty behavior, but. Thought the ear was a rat? No, he was literally just trying to like wake me up. So my, my dad, my that, the, the cat and the dog that I'm taking care of right now <clears throat> are my parents' pets. Um, and uh, my dad wakes up at uh, four o'clock in the morning to, to leave for work at 5.30 or 4.30, um, to be at work for 5.30. And he feeds the cat when he wakes up. That's, that's why. What you're saying is wake me up inside? Is that where you're going with that? Speaking of rat, I mean, I've I've seen what a rat looks like, right? Looks nothing like my ear. How are you doing, Stone? It's good to see you. Your uh, person is still alive. Okay, it's missing. Claiborne is bleeding. Claiborne is fleeing. Standard Claiborne behavior. I wouldn't expect anything more. I did need you to shoot that thing, but... That works for me. That also works for me because I needed that door opened. Can you get back over there? Yes, you can. And stone you to reach into your pack and pull this out. Jack Place has gone berserk. That's not very good. I wonder if that cures the berserkness, or if he's just gonna start shooting my own dudes. I'm assuming he's just gonna start executing my guys. Why do melee weapons just show 0% chance to hit? I don't get it.
Um, you run over here. And you run down there. There is a dead reaper in there. That's terrifying. I guess I do, in fact, fear the reaper. Squat you down. Squat you down. There is an alien brain in here somewhere. something where's the door up to the second floor then what am I don't seem to be able to climb up it there's definitely a room there Oh, I see what I see what I'm missing here. There we go. This is bad. I need to capture one of these alive. Just shoot you. Use your pistol. Really? Okay. All right, let's move you back here and pray. Actually, hold on. Let's see what else I can do. Such a weird animation. Gonna keep throwing stun grenade or um, smoke grenades on it because they do stun damage. Very small amounts of stun damage, but just need to knock it out.
You also have grenades, but I'll just move you there. Okay. No! That's a shame. That was stone. Fell unconscious. Let's see, was stone KIA or just knocked out? I did grab the alien. Yes. I've lost too many of my high quality soldiers. Do brains wear pants? They have weird tentacles stitched onto the bottom of them, so I assume yes. Killed in action. Damn it! Shaq and Claiborne were wounded. Unfinished finished business was wounded, and uh, Dawnborn was wounded. Stone was killed. Damn it. Stone made it all the way up to Colonel. <sighs> but we did catch one of these guys. So I wonder if that's going to be a research now. Maybe not. I need to um, feed this dog and cat, so I'm going to let the game move on super slow speeds. I will be back uh, after I feed the dog and cat, because it's food time for them. Wait, what sound sounded like a YouTube shirt? Streamer has returned. What's up, Henderson? Enjoy your video and watch you play it exceptionally well. Your content seemed to be very interesting, but you noticed your channel's setup may use somewhat of an improvement. You admire your efforts in creating a wonderful community on Twitch, but add you on Discord and we can communicate more effectively. No, thank you. I am all good. Uh, UFO Observer. Uh, the Observer is an alien craft that appears to be primarily designed for research and reconnaissance purposes. Although it has similar dimensions to the Destroyer, it is significantly faster and can carry out a crew of up to 16 extraterrestrials. The hull of the Observer is split into two sections. The semicircular lower half that contains much of the craft's interior space and houses most of the key flight systems, and the twin aluminum reactors that power the ship's thrust and the, and the thruster arrays and the various control controls plus the hyperdrive. Atop uh, this simil the smaller saucer section uh, that contains an extensive array of sensors, these electronics are substantially more advanced than anything previously encountered, which makes it difficult to discern their exact purpose. However, it seems to be safe to assume that this craft is collecting vast quantities of data while airborne. 
In combat, the observer poses an interesting challenge. It has armor and it's it's thin armor is, and a relatively fragile hull, but it is fast enough that our X-25 angels may struggle to effectively close with it, potentially allowing the rotating weapon system in the saucer section enough time to curve the attacking air to carve the attacking aircraft apart. Yeah, I'm not gonna add you on Discord, dude. Sorry, but um. Thank you for the kind words. I'm not sure what you're trying to achieve, but you're going about it all the wrong way, I guess is the best way to put it. All right, Alien Origins plot. We should research that now. Let's interrogate it. Uh... That or they haven't updated their Discord names to the new systems. Also, like, posting your Discord name in a Twitch chat with, like, 160 people watching is kind of not a good idea. So I'll do you the favor of removing it for you. Are you ready to go yet? Not yet. What's going to happen up here? Right there. Now we've got them. I've got a drop ship, but there's nothing I can do there. There it is. UFO 21. Don't take this the wrong way, dude, but uh, whatever you are attempting to convey or offer, um, you're going about it all the wrong way. If you want to reach out to somebody like me, do that via, like, email or something. My email is perfectly sourceable via my social media platforms that I use. Um, and if if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. But popping into my chat and being like, add me on Discord when I have no idea who you are is a awful way to uh, make first contact with anybody. Unless you just want to, you know, hang out in the chat and be a cool dude, but I don't really get that. Think it was a bot? Possibly. I don't know. To me, the grammar was too weird to be a bot, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. Unless, like, the account has actually been, like, banned-banned. Reads very bot-like. I mean, the account was made six days ago. It is pretty vague. Yeah, you are correct. How to resolve this, uh... No, I want a tail target because it's over water. That's not what I want to do. Engage tailed UFO. I need to start patrolling areas, I think. Yeah, let's just commence the attack. Do it manually. You weren't even at that TwitchCon, dude.
we'll just take it head on most likely. There it goes. Easy enough. We will launch combat team. Although I got a bunch of people that are, uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I might actually need to abort the launch. I don't have enough soldiers. But it's a crash site, so I will go in here. We're gonna recruit some soldiers. Four, five, six. And I literally can't because I don't have enough money, so I can go over here. Sell the accelerate. Eh. Sell two of these. Three of those. You know what? I might just sell this crash site because I do need the money. And we'll just collect the bounty. All the hell the way up there. We're still building a jet down here. I'm going to need a second one. Futzed around at the rocket tank? Do you mean the Mars? Like, uh, or is it vehicles? This thing? Combat platform. Mars with the rockets? Yeah, a little bit. They're expensive, though. I find that, um, I tend to just kind of kill them too quickly to the point where, like, they're almost not worth bringing with. Yeah, I don't have enough for the fancy grenades either. I need this month to end. We can get a payout. But uh, where's the mess hall? Uh, well, I can tell you this, it is a mess. this to run through. There we go. The Mantarch. A living Mantarch is a surreal sight to behold, Commander. The subject remains entirely passive within its containment unit, patiently hovering in place while it endlessly scans the surroundings with its large single eye. Nothing has changed since the creature first arrived in my laboratory. No, at no point has it si shown signs of anger or discomfort. Application of, of electric shock will cause it to adopt a defensive posture, but after approximately 30 seconds, it will simply return to its previous position. This is not the behavior of a fully sentient life form. Indeed, uh, mentarch mentarches uh, are only encountered within the confines of a UFO, perhaps hints at their true purpose. I suspect that they, were, they are powerful biological computers networked directly to their into their vessel's control systems to assist with piloting and hyperdrive navigation. They are also formidable opponents on the battlefield. You are no doubt already aware of their ability to completely annihilate individual soldiers with a single blast using their integrated plasma cannon. But their dexterous tentacles are also easily capable of gathering enough force to break bones, as one of my less alert underlings recently discovered. As suspected, uh, Mentarches uh, do indeed employ a miniaturized energy shield to protect their fragile bi biological sections. 
Yet, detailed scans of the shield uh, envelope uh, have revealed, of envelope have revealed, coverage is not uniform. A number of weak spots have been identified and hopefully boosting the damage of your soldiers and in, hopefully boosting the damage your soldiers inflict on these creatures. Yep, we're going to go for more funding. Plus 250 funding in exchange for turning that on. Mess hall poop deck. What's actually the difference? What? I'm going to patrol Angel 3. Up there. An engineering project. I'm going to need another angel interceptor down there. But I did find the shopping mall. Well, that's good. Shopping mall is probably better than the mess hall in the grand scheme of things. Speaking of, we now have living quarters. Or more living quarters, meaning I can hire more people. Most notably, more scientists. Oh. Never mind. I need more research capacity, too. So we'll build another research spot here. Laboratory. Two. Okay, I was going to say two more, but... There we go. Now we actually have funding. Let's jump down here. Start building a second jet. Mm. Once we get those done, then down here, over here can start going for UFOs as well. There hasn't been any activity in a little bit. Small. Launch interceptors. Oh, just one. Let's see what we can do with it. Well, at the very least, I do have a bunch of privates over here. Um, Problem is, is we're going to be very short on actual, like, decent gear for these guys. Okay, we lost it. Head to last known position. Like new target. 
can't send them, they're too far away. You can go there. There we go. Interesting. I don't think I've seen very small yet. There's actually two of them? I think I'm gonna commence attack. So two fighters. Why am I expecting these to completely obliterate my jets? I mean, is what it is, Elfie. Thanks for tuning in regardless. Well, that's one down. Looks like we're gonna lose Angel One. Nope. Hmm. Well, we lost Angel One. That's expensive. No aliens survived this crash. The salvage teams are extracting the following items for delivery. Bunch of alien alloys. Hmm. Fun. Aircraft fuel exhausted. Okay, well, no catching UFO 23 then. Interesting. Okay. It'll take nine days and 20 hours, or we can rush. I kind of want to rush repair it. 12 hours. It's a damn shame, Stone. Your human was pretty good at their job. Let's make four more laser rifles. And I'll make two laser shotguns in case I decide to use one. Creates all existing future infantry laser weapons to their damage to employ self-recharging batteries. Let's do that first. Interceptors once again. Let's auto resolve the attack. Ignore and fight ban battle manually. See if we can do this. I might just let it escape. Yeah, it's moving faster than me anyway. It's like, it's like a mini mall, you mean. We're gonna retreat.
because you can find them at the market. We're talking about Flea Market, Montgomery. Salvage teams working on the fighter wreckage have recovered the following items. Just go type in Flea Market Montgomery on YouTube and you'll find it. Um, small yet extremely aggressive. The fighter UFOs that have recently started appearing in our skies pose a unique threat to our interceptors. These alien craft appear to be the first design designed specifically for aerial combat. They're con uh, and they <laughs> they consist of little more than engines and a weapon systems with no internal space for carrying cargo or crew beyond the lone pilot so that Will Smith can punch them in the head and scream, Welcome to America! Um, armed with both long with both long range missiles and a deadly short range laser bla energy blaster. They have enough firepower to destroy one of our one of our in interceptors in a matter of moments. And they are also extremely agile with a high rate of turn and the ability to perform invasive evasive roles. Thankfully, they also have lightweight hulls that are ex entirely devoid of armor. This makes UFOs extremely fragile, indeed, to the point that there is almost no chance of them surviving impact with the ground and creating a crash site. Fighters are at their most threatening when carrying our air superiority when carrying out our air superiority missions, during which they will actively search for targets to attack. Should they, or any nearby UFO, detect a human aircraft, they will immediately attempt to intercept and destroy it. In such situations, it can be tempting to leave these craft on the, to their own devices. However, this too can be problematic. In absence of military targets, fight, fighters seem to go after, after civilian aircraft. Instead, having an airliner full of passengers blown up in midair is unlikely to improve panic le levels in the local region. Timing couldn't be any better. I mean, I'm glad I helped. <laughs> it's up there with what's his face is good ass chicken and foot massage, I think. Alien Origins, the worst alien movie. After carefully monitoring many hours of transmissions from our cap captured Mantarch, I have successfully gained access to the hyperdrive systems and the precious navigational data within. The contents were somewhat of a surprise. I have struggled for some time to understand how hyperdrive technology could possibly function across interstellar distances. The energy required increases with range and even a jump from the closest star systems roughly five light years, would require unfathomable amounts of energy. The truth is simple. Our primitive minds fundamentally misunderstood the purpose of the hyperdrive. Our alien foes are not using the device to tra traverse our universe. Instead, they remain in roughly the same physical position and jump across the multiverse. Explaining the concept of the multidimensional travel is difficult, unless you are Marvel, in which case they manage to start a cult with it. Uh, and it is difficult, and it appears that great many alternate dimensions are actually far closer in terms of energy expenditure required to reach them than Proxima Centauri. Our enemies thus also originate from Earth, but the Earth of a distant dimension that may differ greatly from our own. These Eternals, also a great Marvel franchise, uh, seem to be interdimensional explorers searching the multiverse for worlds with multicellular, where multicellular life has evolved. It appears only a handful of such dimensions exist out of many thousands recorded within the hyperdrive. I suspect the various alien species we have encountered were once uh, the dorm dominant life forms on their worlds, only to be conquered and enslaved by the Eternals. Each represents a different evolutionary path for Earth, and it had a chance. Earth had a chance had chance unfolded differently. At the center of this hyperdrive sits an eternal homeworld, the seat of their empire, from which the invasion must originate. We must eventually attack this world if we are to triumph. Yet we know little, too little about our foes to identify where to where the, this blow should fall. Capturing alien units, particularly high-ranking ones, for interrogation should solve this problem. 
fr uh, furnishing us with sufficient information to devise a suitable plan of attack. Is it Joe's BBQ and foot massage? It's BBQ something and foot massage. We had many chances. Wow. Also, what's up, Jimmy Bendrix? tempted to just launch my main interceptors on this thing. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think they can make it that far, but... Finish two more labs. Uh, let's go to research. Hire scientists. Does that not let me... Okay, well then why did I build those? Oh, because I didn't build them here. I get it. I built them here. is unfortunate. Now increased our radar range ever so slightly. Okay, so I now have a second angel interceptor at the second base. I'm actually going to build two sentry guns and another Mars. Recruit some more soldiers because I got tons of space. You've got like no HP, but I'll take you. Let's see what that did to my research speeds. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Foe 25. Come on. Two times very small. All the way down there. Huh. I say, do I... I will auto-play that one, but I don't think they're going to win. Auto-resolve this. Hmm. Three 
three against a observer lost? Really? Come on, you. Oh, is that the issue? I see. We ran out of fuel. Could absolutely win that fight. fight manually. This is the other one. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> it's one of them. How long does it take for these guys to refuel? Jeez. Oh, they're full on fuel now, so let's... Okay. Turn to base, Sedge. Um, want the whole soundtrack? You could probably rip it out of the game. It's usually not too hard to do. This is going terrible. <laughs> There you are. You're back. Are we repaired yet? At least we're full on fuel. There we go. Let's auto resolve this. Oh no. Uh, we're gonna tail until overland. Now auto resolve attack. Now nah, I'm gonna fight this manually. I don't wanna lose Angel 1. Angel 3, you're going to be my tailor. Very technical term. Or you're just going to get shot to death. One of the two. Wow. Angel 3 not dead. That's kind of impressive. But, uh, dead now. I think it's time to, um, I think it's time for us to upgrade our, uh, aircraft. <laughs> I think. Also, Ragnarok now, not to be a dick, but I don't really listen to backseating, so I'm just gonna ignore your advice. If I wanted backseating, I would, you know, allow it in this channel, which I don't, so. Yeah, they're all still being repaired. OK. 
conspiracy theories. Well, that's good. Quantum bacon. My favorite kind of bacon. Uh, quantum beacon. Uh, while the sinister nature of the cleaner device may not be immediately apparent, there is little doubt that in uh, that it brought doom upon EXDEF, and perhaps our entire species, serving to transmit data via quantum the quantum realm. This enormous machine was constructed as part of a decades-long project to establish communication with the extraterrestrial extraterrestrials uh, built uh, at a crashed UFO. Uh, that built the crashed UFO found inside of the Icelandic glacier. This was a foolhardy endeavor from the outset. The extraterrex, the extensional, the, the extensional, the existential, that's the, how to pronounce that word, sir. Uh, risks of attempting contact with an advanced civilization should be obvious. Yet, uh, a crude quantum communicator had been connected and EXDEF began to broadcast greeting into the void. Within weeks, a reply was received, a looping stream of raw data, so massive that it took the primitive communicator weeks to download it. When finally decoded, the signal was found to be a, contain a library of three-dimensional images, detailed schematics of the transmitter, and several orders of magnitude more powerful than the rudimentary device EXDEF had constructed. Hoping to establish further contact with the aliens, the vast job of upgrading the transmitter began almost immediately. The issue here is simple. Everything broadcasting, everything. Broadcasting a powerful quantum signal can also be used to triangulate a hyperdrive. This makes the resulting jump exponentially more precise, i.e. substantially less likely to end with a vessel embedded in a glacier, and far more energy efficient than it would be otherwise. It is thus rather predictable EXDEF archives came to an abrupt end within days of the upgrading advice coming on, device coming online, having unwittingly constructed an extraterrestrial navigation beacon in the middle of their own facility. And they were presumably quickly overrun by alien forces intent on securing their gateway to Earth. Although, there was a prolonged period where disabling the transmitter would have immediately ended the alien invasion. That moment has sadly passed. A quantum signal above our planet suggests the extraterrestrials have deployed a beacon of their own in high orbit. While beyond our reach, we have to find a, another way to def we will have to find another way to defeat our enemies. This is lore behind the movie Contact. I think I've seen Contact. It might be an option that I haven't unlocked yet, Ragnarok. Or I haven't built yet. Because, like, everything costs money, right? So... Uh, need a better interceptor. <laughs> Turns out most games like this uh, end up playing off of a lot of uh, tropes. I don't think we're gonna make a 10 game based on some things somebody spoiled in my chat. That being said, would be real curious to start a new playthrough of this once the next major patch comes out. So out of everything, let's build another Mars. 
We've constructed the Phantom Interceptor. It's the first interceptor aircraft designed specifically for battling alien UFOs. It is faster, tougher, and more agile than the relatively primitive X-25 Angel. This is probably what you're talking about, actually, right, Rock? Uh, much of the increased performance is a result of the vast power output of the ER-1 Alanium reactor housed within the fuselage. And this dri can drive the twin turbojet engines at astonishing speeds, allowing the interceptor to cruise at three times the speed of sound. As such, uh, the airframe of the Phantom has been heavily reinforced with alien materials, and this prevents the uh, disintegrating under tremendous forces generated by flying at such speeds. That also makes the aircraft substantially more resilient to enemy fire. We've also hardened the avionics and cockpit electronics to withstand EMP effect of the extraterrestrial enemy energy weapons, allowing these instruments to be used in combat. And our pilots can thus perform sharper turns and more extreme tactical maneuvers without losing control of the aircraft. This makes the Phantom superior to our existing interceptors in every way, although significant investment of funds and materials will be required to construct one, it will no doubt prove invaluable in the battle to control our skies. Okay, so we're going to assign a... Let's just do that. And then jump over to engineering and go to aircrafts. How much are you? $500,000. I'm real upset that I just built a Mars, but maybe I can sell it. Sorry, I was just responding to a text message. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know. I need to see if that person's spoiler was correct or not. Let's see. Ah! Very small UFO, were it? Wow, that is close, shit. Auto-resolve? You for real? Fight battle manually. Like, I realize it's an interceptor, but, like... <laughs> oh, you're dead. Yikes, indeed. Well, I'm broke and have no planes. <laughs> it's like, that's that's not good. Let's see if that person's spoiler was accurate. I don't think I damaged it.
All right, that person in chat spoiler is inaccurate. Someone in chat popped in a while ago and was like, game ends on uh, day 140. Which... Um, seems to still be going. <laughs> so, I'm uh, in a bit of a pickle, as you can see. Demon did in 140 in the demo. Oh, damn, that's a generous demo. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need three jets, so we basically just need to wait for the month to end. Alien Electronics. The recovered alien sensor array is clearly of great scientific value, Commander. Even casual inspection of the device reveals a number of electronic innovations that wasn't that weren't further study. The the most notable of these are superconducting alloy magnets used in the various scanner systems. These exhibit absolutely no electrical resistance at room temperature, allowing them to carry immense amounts of current without melting, thus generate enormously powerful magnetic fields. By weight, these magnets are several times more potent than anything we have previously encountered, and they should prove relatively easy to reverse engineer and reproduce. I have little doubt we shall find a great many uses for them. However, the most interesting innovation comes in the form of several small helio emitter discs dotted around the sensor array. When connected to a power source, these begin to project an ever-shifting holographic lattice into the surrounding air. Analysis suggests that this hologram is, in fact, an optical computer. It is a fully functional computer system that uses photons rather than electrons to process data. Astonishingly fast and remarkably versatile, it can instantly redesign its own holographic uh, circuitry to maximize uh, efficiency at whatever type of calculations it needs to perform. Such flexibility will be exceedingly valuable as our technology continues to grow in sophistication and complexity. And I would not be surprised if these optical microchips become increasingly commonplace in the coming months. There is a hard end, the game just sort of breaks. See, I don't want to know that! Why are you telling me that? I just, like, legitimately do not want to know that. <laughs> like, bah! I got, I got upset at the other person for telling me the other thing, and now you're just, like, doing this, and it's like, come on, man! Why would you do that? See, Trix, you got one job. Don't tell me when the game ends. <laughs> Shit. I thought I was already, like, expressing my displeasure. Um, but, uh, jetpacks are pretty cool. Get out of here, stalker armor. Four days, three hours. Tactical mission, alien base. These aliens have constructed an outpost on our planet. Although we don't know the exact purpose of this installation, we should attempt to destroy it as soon as possible. Well, at least I can launch that. The angels may not be in the outfield, but we can send in people. All right, let's roll up through everybody. 
Celestaris. You need warden armor and a better pistol. Fucking magnets. I don't, you know, honestly, after all of these years, fucking magnets, I still don't know how they work. Everybody's tech decked up. We got better med kits too. I think that these ones auto apply. Uh, you need warden armor. Um, so chat, uh, first person to pog champ in my chat gets Anton. Uh, you can yell at me, make fun of me, comment at me, but please don't tell me what to do. Um, audio coaster, you're already alive. Elfie, El, El, Elfie, Bean. Uh, audio coaster, your your person just got downed, not deaded. So, yeah, you're you're still alive. You're you're you're, you're right here. You're just a hardened indiv in individual, individual. Angel 4 and 5 have both been successfully repaired. I don't even have space there. I kind of just want to... Yeah, I'm just going to decommission Angel 2. And then I'm going to go to base stores. And I'm going to sell two Mentark corpses. And then I'm going to jump up to engineering. We're going to queue up a Phantom Interceptor. We'll have that in four days. I mean, we'll have to get there to find out, won't we? Ads are about to run, so I'm just going to let those run. And I won't start the battle until they run. because load screens are a good time for ads. This alien facility is being used as a base for extraterrestrial operations on Earth, slowly increasing panic in the surrounding regions. Capturing the facility will improve our strategic position and grant significant amounts of resources. So we invading another alien base. Gotta wait for another 24 seconds. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the Xenonauts streams, though. I've been really enjoying playing this game. It's been real nice to play an XCOM. <laughs> I guess I, I do really like XCOM, and it's been a long goddamn time since I've played an XCOM, so. Even though Stone's character died, which is a, a damn shame. I just off got offered a, a key for a game called... <clears throat> Gummy, dummy battles. They describe it as an action indie simulation strategy. This looks like hot garbage. Um, but like kind of okay hot garbage. I mean, I, I, I'm fairly confused by all of this. The dog is barking in her sleep, Jet. Hello. Let me get the camera down. You 
guys get knee cam. It's the crotch cam. Does she bark? Okay, well, she's twitching. Since, since I'm doing pet cam. There's the old man. Dog is twitching. Dog is on brand. Checks out. The original floofster, yes. The floof who's outlived most floofs. On planet floof. Can I just say that I'm way too abused by the fact that there's somebody on my Discord named fucking Kevin, goddammit? <laughs> it's just, it's funny to me. Alright, enough fudging around in between things. We've gotten through our obligatory dog bit. And, uh... Let's dive in. So I got two doors. How big's the map? Pretty big. Oh, that's not good. Crap, I forgot to give Audio Coaster a better gun. Hmm. Well, that's slightly terrifying. There! Ah, nice, friendly fire. Enemy spotted! I think they are, um doing experimentations in here. What do you think, Jan? Get one shot off from there. A zap? I really did forget to give quite a few people better guns, didn't I? Don't fuck this up, cell stars. Nice. Okay, alien, no need cover. Please don't fall out 76 me. Nice. Oh shit, those leak when you break them? That's kind of rad. I can hit both of them. Nope, it's one or the other. Let's go for the one at the back. Kink room. Definitely a kink room, yes. What else could it possibly be? It's the most Twitch chat thing anybody's said all day. What is this? Obviously where they fu- Wait, no, I can totally hit both of them. No, that's only gonna hit the one. I did open the door, though, which is good. All right, end this turn. Expecting these doors to open behind me. 
Great. Quite a bit of damage. Wow. I was kind of expecting you to take more damage there. And then you turn. Got him. Oh, yay. The fighty neighbors are fighting again. I just heard, oh man, what the fuck? Real loudly. Days since my neighbors argued. Zero. <laughs> if that's a good thing. I mean, some someone needs to, right? Someone needs to hold true to the traditions of just saying the dumb thing that makes no sense. It's just pure internet shenanigan, and you know what? I respect it. Also, Alex, are you the Alex G that sent in the fort? Or Alex GG, I think? I can never tell. Or are you a different Alex G? You move up. That is not you. Different person. Okay. Because there's somebody else named Alex G, I guess. It's not that uncommon of a name template, though, so. <laughs> there's a musician of small time notoriety named Alex G. Oh, well, GG. I was like, I didn't see that door. Oh, a little side room there. That looks like a door, but I don't think it is. Oh, this stuff looks important. Let's break it. weirded out by the fact that this room is empty. There's one door which is there. That's actually pretty good for us. There's an Australian chip chiptune guy named Citrix, so you literally can't chat in Cody's stream or he'll yell at you. What, for taking Citrix's name? That's kind of funny. It's like having the name Carpenter Brute, I guess. But that sounds like something he would do. Cody's a very yelly individual, and I, I, I enjoy his streams greatly. Maybe you should organize a name swap in exchange for money. And then he can't yell at you anymore. I'm assuming that this has happened before, like Cody's like called you out for having that username. Wow, nice miss. Elfie. Well, they're not blue. They're actually just wearing um, automatic camo gear. They're like, they're sort of like predators. But um, I don't know if they wear pants during autopsies. I don't think, you know, honestly, I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that we remove the pants during autopsies. I don't think it's their choice. 
I don't think that the aliens are consenting to these autopsies. Which is a benefit for us, the humans. It means we need to do less paperwork to complete the autopsies, but... It does make you kind of wonder, are we the baddies? At least in that one very specific situation. <laughs> Wait, it costs extra for us to remove the pants during autopsies? Well, I'll be damned. Well, there's a door there and a door there. I'm just gonna do this. I mean, there, there definitely was at least one autopsy that I've done where they say I'm pretty sure it's still alive. So, very alien tropey thing anyway. Because everything home made is more satisfying than store-bought. opening, doors closing. Catch alive, what's what's up, Alkangi? Just wanted to say that you've been really enjoying your content. Your VODs are always on the second monitor while playing Dwarf Fort. Cheers. Well, cheers, man. It means a lot. Thanks for stopping by to say that. I mean, you've probably heard me say something to this effect before, but uh, YouTube is kind of difficult because, like, it's really hard to tell who your community is on YouTube to the point where, like, I actually often end, ugh, end up with a really negative impression of my community on YouTube. Just, like, to give you an example, right? I don't get to talk directly with any people on YouTube, and when I do, it's always, like, kind of at a distance, like, during a premiere, which most people think is a stream anyway. Um and it kind of very rarely has a super great chat, followed by like, then I'll post videos, and the only thing I really see are the negative comments, because those are the ones that are surfaced to me, because I have to see them. Ow, that was a fuckload of damage. Kill yourself. Um, so it's really difficult for me to tell like who the community is on YouTube versus, versus Twitch, where I know exactly who the community is. That was not a good thing. <sighs> That's phenomenal. I was like, X awful. I, I, there's another alien behind that wall. Oh, sweet. It just immediately killed the guy that I was aiming at. Well, that's good. Anyway, I was rambling about people being annoying in comments, but thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> it means a lot. Eat these things. That's going to kill somebody.
New PC? Yeah, I got a... Not fully new PC. But I got a new CPU and a bunch of new computer parts. So we're now able to stream at 60 FPS. And Dwarf Fortress has a 100% frame rate increase over what it did previously, so... Really tempted to just start pelting this area with grenades. Doing this. Expensive to move and shoot, but I can, or too expensive to move and grenade, but I can move and shoot. I mean, I can try and move and shoot. Doesn't mean I'll actually hit anything. Well, better pay back for the entertainment. Well, cheers, dude. Thank you very much for helping us, uh, like, get that 350 subs. Because if we can hit that, that'll be a huge pay raise. Well, cheers, dude. We'll have to do a check-in with the numbers on that pretty soon. There. Lost somebody. Now you're gonna eat? Go eat. Uh, so Twitch made a change uh, re relatively recently, Death, which is if you, as a Twitch partner specifically, uh, have 350 concurrent paying subscribers, so not primes or gifts, just paying subscribers, um, and you hold that for three months consecutively, you're automatically upgraded from the 50-50 tier 1, 60-30 tier 2, 70-30 tier 3s to just 70-30 on all three tiers, which for me would be currently a raise of about, I don't know, $1,500 a month. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that, man, I would fucking love that. That'd be real nice, so. And currently we have the numbers. It's just a matter of holding the numbers. That was a bigger explosion than I was expecting. So, yes, like Konzi had said, hold. And then if I get that, then everything except for Prime subs, because Prime subs are an Amazon contract thing, and yes, they're Twitch's parent company, but they can't change those numbers. Um, so aside from Prime subs, gifted subs, and then all other subs would move up to the higher percent. Otherwise, then you could just like pay for it yourself, basically. And uh, here, because we're talking about it, I'll pop up mine currently. I have to screenshot it because there's information on the same screen that I just kind of don't want to share. Frankly, I'm pretty open about how much I earn, but I don't really want to give you guys like all of the data. So in the last in the last 30 days, uh, we're well above. We're over uh, 400 paying subs. It's like 410. Um, but currently on this month, I think we've actually made it as of today. Yeah, this is what we're currently sitting at. 
So, so in the so since the start of July, uh, we've got uh, 323 tier one subscriptions, 19 tier two subscriptions, and uh, seven tier threes. Which means we are currently clear for this month, barely, I think, because that brings us up to what? It just, just barely, just barely. We we, sh we will be clear, like. I don't know. So yeah, if you really want to help out partnered streamers right now, the best thing you can do is just subscribe for three months. Interesting. There's a second floor area over there. I don't know if I should be able to see that. I should maybe... Hmm, actually, this seems like a bit exploity, actually. These underground bases, just move up to the second floor and you can see where all the rooms are. Anyway. Is open right now. Whoa! Nah. Exactly. Also, by the way, a devilish potato fell. Doctor Y is injured, but not super badly. run you back here and pick up the this stuff and we'll give you this med kit it's a zero percent chance to hit hey They want you to hit my own dudes. No. No, you did just lo you did lose your shield. <laughs> well, I guess it was only a matter of time. I didn't kill any of my own soldiers, but we did just friendly fire two of them. Almost killed Celestaris. Here, uh, Dr. Y, you can be medic, so uh, go heal Celestaris for me, please. Here, do this. All right. Band-Aids in the med kit on your uh, utility belt, I hope. Assuming you remembered to pack them. That was not really what I wanted you to do, so instead I'm just gonna stand you awkwardly in the middle of everything, Laia. 
Assuming that dude walked through this door. Ah, there he is. Wow, miss, miss. <laughs> Great. Well, at least we got him. Actually, I'm pretty sure that med kit just works by spraying an aerosol can of magic healing juice on the person. I did read the, uh, the dialogue bit for it, and it was pretty much that. It was just like, yeah, so you spray the aerosol can, and, uh... Lob. Ah, so there is a secondary love floor over here. Is in here? Just that one? Okay. Alright, let's get all the soldiers up here and then end the turn. All you found were bat-shaped boomerangs. Wow, you did come prepared. I think that you um, kind of screwed up a little bit, though, because this isn't X-Con. It's x -com. So if you're here for the nerd convention, you're kind of as... What did I just... I, I think I... I, th I thought I told you to go up. Well, you go up then, dog boy. <gasps> That's quite a bit of damage you just took there. It's kind of awkward to move, I guess. I didn't need that cover anyway. Let's just hit you. Ah! I do not like how good their guns are. Who did I just lose? Dr. Y, I hate to break it to you, but I think it's time for you to scream your name really loudly with a lot of extra vowels. Kill one and damage the other. And suppress the other. Exactly. That isn't what I wanted to do, but... I wonder what happens if two people go through one of these things in a row. Does the first one explode? you right here. Perfect. Well, I've got a few people that could die this turn. You died doing what you love, being comic relief during a firefight? I mean, you certainly were comic relief. Did I just lose somebody? It all happened so fast. No, but... You're bleeding now. How are you bleeding? You're on a different floor from the entire fight.
Like seriously, how did I? I don't actually know. Just move <clears throat> our dude somewhere smarter. Cover wise. One left. Okay, I guess everybody's moved down. Not bad for a surprise extra. I mean, hell yeah. That's that's like, that's the most you could hope for, right? Well, not bad for a first time. I mean, the last base assault we did, we lost so much. This time is going pretty, pretty smoothly, all things considered. How come I suddenly know where they all are? What? Is it because I clicked on the chair? I... Did someone explain like I'm five why I suddenly know where they all are? <laughs> um, somebody do a Wilhelm scream, please. Speaking of Wilhelm scream, we just lost somebody else. So could somebody please do a Wilhelm scream? We do have this power. It's literally just scream audio. There you go. Why, Lexha, and Devilish. You may also not be dead. You may also just be, like, injured. Nope, okay, so that didn't activate. Show them again. Also, you guys get a 10 plus hour stream today. Really could use suppressive fire or like machine guns right about now. Your character very much was of service. I'm also kind of shocked I haven't had to reload once yet. Oh God.
I mean, you can get overkilled. I have pretty good hospital facilities. I gotta click the back button. But... Oh god. This mission's kind of going bad. Lost half of our soldiers now. Dead. Really? I'm gonna jump back a turn. Two turns, actually. You could be more dead than dead. So dead that you're not even gonna be reborn into a new body in the next life. Found the aliens who were actually good shots? Yeah. Actually, I think that room's just really bad. <sighs> suppressive fire. Impressive. I, you know, honestly, I, I think that we should be going for impressive fire over suppressive fire. Let's try this room instead. By that, I mean we're going to go this way. Go for this door up here. That door just opened. You at him, and we missed. Said you. What? Jack, can someone please explain to me what just happened? Did you just shoot yourself? Because I was shooting with Dawnborn, and I shot at that. I think he just shot himself. Could somebody please clip that? Because I would love to know what just happened. Okay, so I had him selected 89%. Okay, no, that was after the, the shot went through. Gotta get it closer to edit it. I am Lord7. Thank you very much for that Prime subscription. No, you can edit it. It's, you weren't too late. Never clipped anything before? I gotcha. Yeah, no, you have to edit the clip.
cutscene. Yeah, he he just he he got a miss and he did damage to himself. What in the world? What was the percent to hit? 68%. Fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, no, the gun, like, does, like, a... Uh, something. He, he shoots where he was originally, and it does damage to himself. What the shit? <laughs> he shoots him under the armpit? Yeah, I'm... bewildered by that. Regardless, though, I'm running very slow, short on soldiers, so please stop shooting yourself. The gun overheated? It's a normal-ass rifle. I mean, like, stuff... Doing shit you don't expect in this game is kind of the name of the game, to a degree. But that's a bit excessive. Baby. I love how that's also like a 0% chance to hit normally. Let's go back. Shitty little closet. You go get sleep, Corny Throne. There will be stream tomorrow, normal time. Where's my orbital final boss? Because I think it's another one. I have a suspicion. There it is. Fuck. Bananas. It's a robot, so smoking it won't do anything. gonna kill at least one person. Nope. Whew.
Let's hit it. There we go. Oh, hefty losses, but we won. Yeah, me too, Dr. Y. I'm I'm com I'm completely flabbergasted. Well, I mean, we had two pretty great classic XCOM style moments in that fight. Uh we had an alien shoot his friend in the back and insta kill him, which was great. And uh I had half my dudes shoot each other in a room at one point, which wasn't great. Um Let's see, we got we saved Devilish Potato, Unfinished Business, Dawnborn, and Dr. Y and lost audio coaster officially and Eshkilla um, officially. So we killed all 18 aliens and we lost three Xenonauts in combat. We have to assign a research project. Also, chat room, I've been live for almost 10 and a half hours. There's still daylight. This dog does need a proper walk at some point today. And uh, I want to go pick some blackberries. So I think this might be a pretty good spot to leave it. We're in kind of awful fucking shape. We have no money. Uh, my ships can't take down the UFOs anymore. And uh, we're basically just waiting to be able to build more phantoms. And then we're going to decommission the rest of our angels. And then we're going to have phantoms. Um, so that's where we're currently sitting. You're not dead, Dr. Y. You are in intensive surgical care, however, so your face may never recover, but you will fight another day. All that being said, chat, I think it's time to call it. Don't run off, though. We are going to raid somebody. Um, before I go, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for uh, helping us hit that... 900 sub count again um, and uh, for all of that assistance towards getting up to that 350 subs. We are like so freaking close it's spooky so just like you know if you're prime subbed or not subscribed right now and you really want to help the channel out the best way to do that is just subscribe for three months.